Hello, this is Andre from Fix PLM and today I wanted to show you an application about using data imported from medical CT scans to do reverse engineering and suddenly be able to model a customized prosthesis or do some study in the field of implants. Huh? Well, the software that I'm going to use to process the images coming from the exam is this Invisellos. It's a national software and it allows us to import files, comp type projects, which are medical images, coming from tomography and other exams that slice the geometry and create this type of file. So I'm going to import. To import I just need to point to the folder. Inside it will look for all the images that exist to import this data. Huh? At that moment he is loading these images in a used and intelligent way so that the exam is consistent with what was done. So here I have a preview of the images he has here regarding the exam. I can see that. But none of that interests me here. What I really want is for him to import this geometry generating a 3 visualization of it for me. 3 visualization of this for me. Bon. It imported. Here we can, on this screen here, see, for example, several types of visualization of this import. For example, I'm going to load bone and more skin here. What does it do? It loads a three-dimensional model assembling those layers of the exam that are used to do the study. Analyze any pattern that you have from the exam. Let's show this other brilliant call, which is precisely what interests us the most, which is all this bone part here. Well, without taking too long here, I'll move on to the next step, which is to create a 3 geometry on top of this visualization. So I'm going to create a geometry. I wanted a medium quality here, for example. And if I give OK, what will it do? It will start generating this 3D surface over this view here. So he's loading. He's creating this surface. Here's looking at his progress. On these other sides, here we have some images projected in relation to the exam that was imported. This is a software most used by the medical field to make a diagnosis, better analyze these exams. He did it here, you can see a green tone, which is precisely this geometry he created over that image. Ah. Now, the next step, I'm going to export this geometry and look how cool, it already exports in several formats. But what interests me is the STL format, which is where I'm going to use it to import it into my CAD software. Alright, I export it. Now we're going to come back here in my CAD software on NX. I'm going to create an empty file and from this empty file I'm going to import my STL file, which in turn is in that folder and it's going to generate a mathematical model for me by importing all that geometry that it generated from the exam. It even comes loaded, but the NX knows how to handle this part well, so we can manipulate it here. The first step that I'm going to do here is to try to eliminate what doesn't interest me right now. What am I going to do? I'm going to take, I'm going to use the reverse engineering module, which is even loaded, it's here, and then I'm going to divide this STL to leave on the screen what interests me. So I'm going to take this STL and I'm going to ask to divide this border here and keep this region here, so here it will do what? It will eliminate the region of the model that I am not interested in and keep that region that I would like to work on. This eliminated that region over there. So again I'm going to take this model. I'm going to define this whole region here for it to remove and keep this bottom region here. Beleza. Beauty, it's eliminating. Okay, now I have the part that interests me. Ah. Just to illustrate I'm going to create a geometry over this image, this STL, using a feature in NX called Rapid Surface. What he does, we select our STL file and I can draw on top of it. So, for example, I can define points. So, for example, I'm going to define a curve passage here. I'm going to click OK and I'm defining these curves and it will project these curves onto the geometry. So, I'm going to do it here, until the time I define this border. Okay, if I want to take a look at the result, I don't have a preview. I can have an interesting strategy. We can subdivide this geometry to make it closer to the one closest to the geometry I'm using as a reference. 
It's not the case here. We can make another video just about engineering in reverse. I'm going to finish this step here. So I made that geometry over the model and now we're going to just finish here. Let's make a thickness to show that that is the exact geometry. So I have it here, as if it were one. I can do a little finishing just for us to show how it would look. And then I can be working on this geometry, detailing it, doing all the modeling part, okay? Well, that's basically it. I just wanted to show you this resource for us to manipulate images coming from software in the medical area. I hope it was interesting for you. Until the next video, a hug.